<sighs> I leave that Psychomaniac CGI alone for a month while I reviewing Carrie and counting down my 25 favorite films I watched during Halloween, and then again, he strikes again by torturing Huey again. I made him watch a terrible hand-drawn Dino movie. What can I do to, to stop him from torturing everybody from... What can I do to stop him? Seriously. Hmm. I wonder if there's any good films out there that I haven't quite blogged yet that recently came out that I can still make positive reviews about. Hmm. Or in November, I think I may have an idea. Huh? Oh. <sighs> hey, everybody. I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince. Welcome to episode four of Mustang Prince Oro Reports. And if you're wondering why I have facial hair on my face, I really don't want to talk about it just yet. Anyway. Since it's all November, let me just say that Thanksgiving is just about to come up in a couple weeks. And I have probably the right idea that will probably give CGI a nightmare he truly deserves. A bad, hopefully, I'll say, a positive review of a certain animated film. And it's probably the first animated film I'll talk about since I already... Review Cloudy the Chance of Meatballs 2 last time, and haven't gotten around to reviewing another one since then. And hopefully, no more torturing from that psycho. Since Thanksgiving is coming up, just recently, a new studio, Real FX, has released an animated film that focuses on Thanksgiving, but has the turkeys as the main characters. Released on November 1st, 2013, the movie is Free Birds. Now, I already know the rules. YouTube copywriters, no content, no spoilers, new movie, yada, 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 yes. So, I'm going to explain the plot, the characters, and what I think about it. Here I go. Reggie, the turkey who's always been afraid of turkey since he's be always been on the since his kind has always been on the menu. However, his his attempts to warn his farm basically flock constantly fall to deaf ears, which makes him an outcast. But then one day, when the president makes him a pardoned turkey, not too long after he's kidnapped by a turkey named Jake, who takes him on a mission to time travel to the to, to 1620 to stop turkeys from ever becoming Thanksgiving meals again. So, my thoughts on this film with my family? Well, let me just say, since I've never actually seen another Thanksgiving full-length movie before, this one happens to be total badass, awesome, and funny! Cleverly done, and well done, Real FX! But I'd also let you know that I, since I've never seen a certain full-length film about Thanksgiving before, I, I really mean, I mostly have seen TV specials that focus on Thanksgiving at times, so they don't count. You know, like stuff like Yams Away from Sticking Around or Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, they're just specials, not movies. <sighs> and also, like, I can't explain any behind the scenes. I don't know too much about it, but still, it really was a good movie. To me, that is. And even my family loved it, too. So I'm now to move on to the cast and the characters that brought... the characters and the cast who brought them to life. Reggie, the main character, is voiced by Owen Wilson, whom probably you guys know as Lightning McQueen from Cars or Dead Adia from Night at the Museum. Or one of the Wright brothers from around the world in any days. His new friend Jake, and my favorite character in the movie, is played by Woody Harrelson. I don't think I've seen too many of the films I, that he's in, such as like 
I did hear he was Charlie Frost in, t in 2012, so I guess, even though that movie was kind of t a bit stupid, in my opinion, he was clever at making a documentary at times. So I'd say his role as Jake is total badass and awesome. Next up is the love interest, Jenny. And a native turkey, to be exact. Is voiced by Amy Poehler. Who not everybody should... I think people know as Eleanor from those live-action Alvin the Chipmunks movies. And also voices... Uh, what else is she voiced? Uh, Gretel in Hoodwing 2. And played the computer voice in Monster vs. Aliens. And the mayor's wife, Sally O'Malley, in Horton Years of Who. She's also voiced Snow White and Shrek the Third as well. The, the the Time Machine Steve, I don't really know what that stands for, is voiced by George Takai. The only character I know George to be voicing would be the first ancestor in Mulan. And then there's the villain, Miles Captain Miles Standish, voiced by Cole Meany. I never heard of this guy till just recently, and after doing research of this guy, it turns out I think he's been like, hmm, uh, okay, let's see, according to my computer, uh, da -da 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 hmm, so far, None of his roles seem too familiar with me, so... Oh, well, I guess his role as Miles seems to be... But still, that role was really threatening when it comes to a turkey hunter. Next up is Chief Broadbeak, voiced by Keith David. Who probably ever know, one knows as Goliath from, Gol from Gargoyles, or Dr. Facilier from The Princess and the Frog, or that cat from Coraline. Then there's Governor Bradford, voiced by Dan Fogler, so far, let's see, okay, uh, what else has, like, Dan Fogler been in other than, like, he's been two roles in Horton Years of Who, and also that 80s pop culture reference astronaut Gribble from Mars Needs Moms. Also, another person to point out, to, to point out is, Jimmy Wayard. Jimmy Hayward, I mean. Who, who's done several voices for this film. He voiced Jenny's brother Ranger, Leatherbeak, the President of the United States, and several others. So far, that's pretty talented, like doing more than one voice in a film like that. And, let's see. Mm, I don't think I have anything else to say about this film. But, above all, Free Birds is considered a good film to watch around Thanksgiving. Even though some people may like it, I may have to say one thing to every hater of this film. Gobble, gobble, gobble! Fat turkeys are you guys. Which, sometimes this film does remind me of that certain song I knew from elementary school. And the ending made me think of that too. I give this movie a... A 95%. And if you really love it, you should check this out before Thanksgiving starts. I'm Joshua Orr, the Mustang Prince. Mustang Power!